Hi, my name is Sarah Manning. I am a freshman at Harvard College and I am here to guide you in your studying for the materials science event. I will say that you've made a very good choice because material science is a fascinating cross-disciplinary field that combines chemistry, physics, and engineering, among other things. And it's also a very useful field, even when things go wrong. For example, in 1913, British metallurgist Harry Brearley was trying to compose metal alloys that would be used in the manufacture of gun barrels. Instead, by accident, he discovered stainless steel, a key player in the $34 billion disposable razor industry. Now, I'll bet you're wondering what exactly you'll learn for the material science event. And quick disclaimer, when I read the curriculum to you, you are going to hear some words that you may not recognize, and that is perfectly okay because those words actually encompass much of what you'll be learning. You will understand those words in depth by the time you finish this curriculum. To start off, you'll learn about fundamentals, and that is worth 60% of your score. You'll first learn about material classes, ceramics, metals, polymers, composites. You'll learn about mechanical properties, stress-strain curves, Poisson's ratio, the shear modulus, creep, viscosity. You'll learn about chemical composition, metal alloys, polymer chains, and classifications of those polymer chains. And you'll also learn about physical properties, such as ductility, malleability, melting point ranges. You'll also learn about chemical properties and characterization. You'll start off with two topics that may already be familiar to you because of high school chemistry class, intermolecular forces and surface tension. Then we'll delve into topics that may be less familiar, such as polymerization and cross-linking. And then you'll learn a lot about crystals, common crystal structures, crystal characterization. And then for the next 40% of your score, you will learn about applications of material science a highly versatile and useful field. Half of that application score will be from the biomaterials portion of the test. You'll learn about material properties that are used to evaluate biomaterials, as well as which biomaterials are best suited for certain applications, such as prosthetics, contact lenses. And then the other half of your application score will be solar cells. As you study solar cells, You'll learn about the evolution of materials used in solar cells, and you'll also learn about the physical principles governing solar cell operation. And you'll also learn about calculating solar cell efficiency as well as commercial costs. Now to talk about the logistics of the test itself. The fundamental section, again, is worth 60% of your score, and it will have both multiple choice questions and short answer questions. Whereas the application section, which is 40% of your score, will only have short answer questions. That's it for now. Stay tuned for episode two. I look forward to learning about material science with you, and please feel free to reach out with any questions. My email address is smanning at college.harvard.edu. Goodbye.